In this video, I'll show you how to create a free website with infinityfree.com. Now, Infinity Free offer free website hosting with no advertisements on your site. They also offer 99% uptime. Now, this video will explain how you can use their service from start to finish. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you need to do is go to infinityfree.com. Once you're here, go ahead and click register now and you can sign up for an account. So enter in an email, password and confirm your password. So once you've created your account and you've registered and confirmed your email, you'll then be taken to the account section. From here, you can go ahead and create a hosting account. So click create account and you can go ahead and then choose your hosting plan, which in our case is going to be the free one. So if you go ahead and select create now, you can then create a domain. So go ahead and type in your domain. Now, if you want to add a custom domain, you can do so with the name servers. Now I'll create updated videos showing you how to connect a custom domain to infinity free. So look out for that or just search how to connect your domain to infinity free on YouTube and my video should come up. Just give me time for me to make those videos. I'm going to go with a subdomain first though right now. So I'll enter in the subdomain knowledge base tutorials and we're going to keep the domain extension as infinityfreeapp.com. Now you can register it under these subdomains as well. We're going to go with the infinity free domain for this example. Now go ahead and click check availability and if it's available you'll be taken to the next step where you can go ahead and enter in your account label. This will just be for your viewing only. Here you've got your account password which you can go ahead and change. So I'm going to change this now and you can go ahead and click I approve and if the supplier needs to contact you about your hosting then they will do. After you've done all of that, go ahead and click create account. Okay, so now we've created our account. We have now been given this username and what we can do, we can go ahead and open up our control panel. So click open control panel. That will redirect you to your C panel. Now it might take a while for all of this to actually work. So just give it a couple of minutes if it's not working right away. First, you need to then approve these terms. The panel will now load and here we are. Now what we can do is we can go ahead and build a website with site.pro or we can go ahead and install WordPress. Now to install WordPress, what you need to do is go to your cPanel. From here, scroll all the way to the bottom, go to software and go to this app installer. Once you're inside of this app installer, you can then go ahead and install WordPress. So click install and then you can go ahead and choose your installation URL. Click quick install. Then go ahead and scroll all the way down. You can enter in your admin account, username and a password. I would recommend you do this because this is how you will log in to your WordPress account. Then go and click install and it should then install WordPress right away. Now you may have to wait a while for it to install. It could take three to four minutes, but be patient and it will install it. And after it's installed, you'll have this page appear. It will then give you your admin URL to access WordPress. That will be your domain forward slash WP dash admin. You can go ahead and click on it and you then should be able to either log into WordPress. You may already be logged in though. Here you can see we're in our WordPress website. We can now hover over my blog, click visit site, and here is our website. From here, what we can do is we can go ahead and edit this. We can add pages, we can add themes, and we can create posts as well. This acts as a normal WordPress website. That's how you can do it completely for free. I hope that quick video did help you out. 